something. You know, I didn't think this was going to happen again in my lifetime. Well, it totally is, because Disney Pixar has just released the new Finding Dory trailer, and it is awesome! And just like last week with Star Wars The Force Awakens, we're going to get our feet wet and break this thing down frame by frame. All right, I'm Jono. I'm Riley. Let's wreck it! <gasps> just keep swimming! Just keep swimming! <laughs> Okay, so almost immediately we fade to black, which holds for a couple seconds. Now we've seen the black screen before in Finding Nemo, when Marlin gets knocked out by a barracuda fish. This could represent some form of deep sleep or lack of consciousness. And it totally does, Riley. After that darkness, which seems like an eternity, we see an unconscious coral reef. Alive, but not moving. Very reminiscent of the one in The Little Mermaid, actually. We can only assume that sea creatures would usually be breaking out in song and aqua dance about the benefits of living in a subsurface world, playing organs, you know, stuff like that, but something's afoot. Now here, we see Dory sleeping alone in what appears to be an empty shell. A turtle shell, possibly from a 163-year-old deceased turtle who we can only assume was Crush. And that's not entirely far-fetched, Riley. As you may recall from the first movie, Dory actually joined forces with the Sharks, who despite their best efforts not to kill, are actually bloodthirsty killers. Mm -hmm. If we listen closely here, you can actually hear menacing music in the background. Dory? Dory? Oh, chilling! It's pretty clear to me that Dory's gone to the shark side. Now, we get our first look at Nemo, who in the past 13 years since finding Nemo has not aged a day, suggesting he suffers from constitutional growth delay, a rare disorder that inhibits growth in infants. Or possibly, this movie takes place after the original. But it's more likely that we're in an alternate universe here where no one actually ages. Yeah, yeah. like Neverland. Okay. Now right here, Dory says something really important. Okay. Give me the ratchet wrench. Give me the ratchet wrench. Murder weapon? Possibly, but this to me says in the past 13 years, Dory's become quite handy actually. I'm gonna go with cold-blooded murder here, Jono. Alright. But now, we get into the what real reveal. We cut to Dory saying, My family! My family! Bam! And somewhere. she's off! At an alarming speed for a fish. Absolutely. Fast. Now if we look closely, crop out Dory, replace the ocean with hyperspace, and put her on the Millennium Falcon, this suggests Dory may be able to travel faster than the speed of light. Which would explain the time dilation going on here, once again leading us to believe that time has not passed for her in 13 years due to Einstein's theory of general relativity. But just enough time has passed for her to commit serious crimes. If we look here very, very closely, it appears she is actually holding, yes, a gun. And what does the gun say? I'm sorry, this is a spoiler alert. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. What? Oh, oh, this could only mean Finding Dory is about retracing her steps through time and space, messing with the space-time continuum, harnessing the power of time travel to commit murder of Coral, Nemo's mother! Oh, 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 no. We figured it out! Oh gosh, we did oh. it! That's the movie! Oh, that is the oh. whole movie. Oh. Last week, during our 24-hour Star Wars The Force Awakens analysis, we asked you what you thought about Finding Dory and what it might be about. Let's see what you had to say. Let's read the tweets. All right, at Jason55 said, I think she's just looking for her family, hashtag duh. Okay, at T-Swift said, pretty sure it's a fun adventure about her finding her family, idiots. Okay. And at Ellen Show said, why don't you just watch the movie when it comes out and stop ruining it for yourself by overanalyzing it? Hashtag finding morons. 
I'm gonna go with Murderous Time Traveler. Totally! Hi, I'm Tom from Jimmy Knows. If you think you're a tough guy, you think you're tougher than me, then why don't you come over here and let's talk about it, huh? Better yet, why don't you subscribe to our channel and then watch these videos and then come over and we'll have a team, we'll talk about it, we'll laugh together, it'll be great. I'd love that.